Hi folks, uh, and welcome to this introduction to uh, to Desmos and our Desmos project that you uh, might hopefully have a go at over the summer. Um, so Desmos is a piece of software or an app um, that is used for, for graphing and many of our students use it uh, uh, frequently when they're working on their maths to uh, to explore math, uh, to, sorry, to explore graphs or, or to check their answers uh, and things like that. Um, so this project is all about just just using Desmos really to explore some of the graphs you you might have met before and perhaps extending the ideas a little bit uh, and uh, explore them a bit more. So, um, an example of a graph that you might have met before is y equals x squared. So you always type the functions into the left hand side. Uh, to get squared, you just hold shift down and press the six button um, with that little arrow up there, and that allows you to put a, a uh, a power up there. All right, so here we've got the graph of y equals x squared. You've seen that before. Um, and we can adjust the functions. Uh, so we can put in here, if I changed it to 0 0.5 instead, then it makes it a little bit shallower. Um, I could make it shallower still, 0 0.1. Uh, I could, might even choose to stick a negative inside, see what happens when I do that. Hopefully you remember that that reflects the graph. Um, so uh, all sorts of things you can do with this function. Um, you could also add numbers. Um, if I add six to it, there we go. We've shifted up the graph six places. All right. Um, and also useful to know that in Desmos you can restrict uh, the uh, the values of x or the values of y for which this function is valid. So after the function in curly brackets, I'm just going to write that I don't know. I might want uh, x to be valid between negative 6 and 6 maybe uh, and now you can see it's been restricted a bit so it's uh, it's only uh, the graph is only there between x equals negative 6 and 6. Um, you might want to repeat graphs so what I can do is highlight that whole graph and then click underneath to choose another one and press paste or paste it and get a new one. Now obviously it's the same graph so it's on top of the old one but I could adjust it slightly so change that six that we've added to a four and I get a new graph just underneath and I could add a third one in. Uh, I don't know perhaps change it to two this time uh, and you can see you've got this graph kind of repeated um, as it goes. So uh, parabolas are definitely a graph you've looked at before. Um, I think you've also hopefully learnt about circles. So circles have this type of function. So we've got x squared plus y squared uh, equals, uh, and also just so that you know, when you're in the power, make sure you press the right cursor just to come out of the power before you write the next bit, the equals. Um, so we could have, I don't know, x squared plus y squared equals perhaps 16, something like that. Um, and then we get a nice circle, all right? And you might remember how the radius of the circle links to this function. All right. Um, worth noting that you can have shading if instead of all the points where x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, we wanted all the points inside the circle, then we can just change the equals to a less than. Uh, then we get a dotted line because it can't equal 16. But if you just press equals after the less, uh, less than symbol, then it becomes less than or equals. Then you get a, a solid line around it. All right. <clears throat> um, we might want to investigate what happens as we adjust this, uh, this function slightly. So what I'm going to do is just see what happens if instead of just y, I have uh, y, and I'm just going to put minus 4 and see what happens. And, uh, if you look what's happened carefully, it looks like this, this graph has shifted up a little bit. All right. So it's still a circle, but it's, but it's shifted up. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try a different circle now, see if I can get one a different size. So again, we want x squared plus y squared. Um, and this time I'm not going to have any shading. I'm just going to have equals. Uh, and I think this time I'm going to go for four. All right, and now I've got that circle there. Um, and this time, if I know when I minus four, it's it shifted up. Um, the circle shifted up. So what's going to happen if instead of adding, I subtract? So I'm going to subtract two from here. Sorry, uh, instead of 
subtracting I add so I'm going to add two here and and you can see that the graph has shifted down a bit you might want to think about why that is okay um, and I might want to add another little bit of parabola here so we've got y equals x squared I know that there's that parabola um, and I'm going to shift it down a bit what if I put minus 3 afterwards and I've shifted it down and I'm going to restrict that a bit so I'm going to have just when x is between negative 1 and 1 all right so that that restriction always goes in curly brackets after the function okay and I'm just going to add a couple more bits uh, so what about another circle x squared plus y squared all right uh, I'm going to make it quite a lot smaller this time what about equals 0 0.5 so quite a bit smaller um, <clears throat> in fact I'm going to make it even smaller still what about uh, 0.3 I might go for um, but I'm going to shift that a bit um, and I know what happens if I change the y to adding something to the y but what happens if I change the x so I'm going to put in here and what happens if I, I don't know, add one to the x instead all right and you can see it's shifted a bit there as well and I'm going to copy this one this function for that last circle and just paste it here and see what happens if instead of adding one I subtract one all right and there we've got another circle there and oh wow uh, it seems I've managed to create a nice spider there uh, don't know whether you can see a spider there but I, I definitely can um, and really this is what the project is all about and um, we want you to mess around with Desmos and try to create the best picture that you possibly can all right you can use any sorts of functions that you know or you might want to go online and research different types of functions that create different sorts of shapes but the idea is to get the most interesting picture that you can possibly create all right um, it's got to be your own creation and um, we want everyone to explore um, but uh, yeah try to be creative uh, make sure you keep the functions there on the left hand side so that we can see them um, and you can always save uh, these functions if you sign up for an account then you can uh, up here give the, the graph a title so I might call this one spider uh, and save it and then it will be saved and you'll be able to show uh, your maths teacher when you come back in September. Uh, so have a play around. Uh, it'll be really good for you to get to grips a bit more with how Desmos works. Uh, see how you get on and we'll see you in September.